So the basics of a 3D printer. Um, this ugly whiteboard drawing here is supposed to represent a typical 3D printer, uh, at least the important components for what we're talking about here today. In general, you've got your filament mounted somewhere on the machine on a spool. You have a guide tube running from that fil from the spool to the print head. Uh, within the print head, you'll have your stepper motor with your drive gear attached to it or a series of gears. Um, you'll have a bearing or a plunger or something pushing that filament against the drive gear. Then you'll have a barrel leading down to your hot end. Inside your hot end you'll have your heater and the temperature sensor and then your nozzle. And the way this machine works is very simple. It's not very different from a, a hot glue gun. The extruder motor is pulling the filament off of the spool through the guide tube and then pushing it down into the hot end and um, somewhere inside the hot end the material is turning from solid to liquid and the force that the extruder motor is putting on the filament is generating pressure inside that liquid region and forcing the liquid material out onto the substrate and that's where you're generating your print and of course you have your three-dimensional positioning system and all your other components to go along with it uh, so what can go wrong with uh, this system when we're, when we're printing with NinjaFlex or what other considerations do we have to take into account that we wouldn't with rigid materials. That's what we'll get into next, uh, starting with the guide tube.